the foundation chain, chain in multiples of four. This will be the bottom of the top that goes around the mid body. To fit a medium, I'll be chaining 60. To begin the first row, we're going to be chaining one and working a half double crochet into the second chain from the project. We're going to be doing a total of four half double crochets of each color change. So one, two, three, except the fourth half double crochet will be different. Yarn over. Go through the stitch, pull up a loop. Once you have three loops on your hook, we're going to take the second color and attach. We're going to leave the tail free for now and weave it in at later. Pull through. Now you have four half double crochets of your first color and now the second color, we're going to be doing four half double crochets of that. We're going to be taking the first color and we're going to be half double crocheting over it. So one, two, three, on the fourth one, once you have three loops, take the next color, yarn it over, pull through. So four of the gold and four of the red is what I have. Now we're going to take that gold, pull it, yarn over with the red, or your second, first color I mean, half double crochet four times, changing the color on the fourth half double crochet. I'm now reaching near the end of my first row and this is how we will move on to the second row. I'm on my red color which is the first color I started with. Yarn over, go through that last stitch, pull up in the red, and in the second row we're going to be doing double of each row of the colors in the same spot to form a nice square for the checkered pattern. So I'm going to be continuing with the red and finishing that last fourth and what you're going to do with your second color is you're going to pick it up and you're going to move it over that first one and then chain one of the color that you're going to start with on the second row. Flip your project. Now your second color is up with your second row but we're still going to be crocheting over that to bring it over to its space. You're gonna continue with the color for one double crochet, half double, two, half double, three, half double. You can pull your yarn that's working underneath a little tighter to make it look better. Now I'm going on my fourth half double crochet of the first color. I'm going to yarn through, pull up when I'm on that third loop. I'm going to take the color that I'm changing to and pull through. I'm going to take that first color and we're going to start working over it. One half double, two half double, 
three, half double, four, pull up. Once you have the three loops, change color. So this is what it looks like. You're gonna have a decent square. Each square of four double crochets will be stacked twice. So you've got the first row like this, second like this, and then when we move on to the third and fourth, the red will be over here and the yellow will be over here. Or your, your first color, first color, second color, second color in the checkerboard pattern. I'm now getting towards the end of my second row. I have four more half double crochets to do. So I'm on one, two, three. And we're gonna start the fourth. Once you have three loops, this is where our color will change at the end and we will be continuing the third row in a different color. That will be my second color, which is my gold, so I'll pull that one through. We're going to be taking the last color that we dropped. We're going to take it and put it towards the back. That way it's over the first one and chain one to flip over the project. Now I'll be having my second color working its square along the top of the first one. Don't worry if you can still see the yarn through at the end. Once it stretches out, you won't see it anymore. But now I'm taking my second color and I'm working my first half double Second, third, fourth, once you have the three loops, drop that current color, pick up your second color, pull through, take the one you just dropped, pull it a little tight, and now repeat over. And that is what mine looks like so far. I'm now reaching towards the end of my third row. It's okay if your squares don't look exactly even because one side of your project, they will look a lot more clearer on than the other side. This side is a little more diagonal. Okay, I've got four more half double crochets to do before the fourth row. I'm finishing off with my second color. So I've got one, two, three. And now I'm doing my fourth. And I'm going to be continuing with the same color to the fourth row. So I'm going to be taking my second color and pulling it all the way through. I'm going to take that color that I'm going to continue working over. And I'm going to flip it. 
I'm then going to chain my one that I'm going to continue to the next row, flip over, and continue with my four half double crochet. One, two, three. Now you can get a better idea of how our project is going to be forming. In order to create each square, it takes two rows of the half double crochet. And each half double crochet across is going to be only four stitches. So it's one, two, three, four, change. One, two, three, four, change. And every other row is when we'll be switching colors while turning. You're going to be continuing this until it's the, about the length that you want going over your bust. For me, I did a total of 18 rows. It just has to be a number that can be divided by two since it takes two rows of half double crochet to create each square. Now continue with your project until you've got the length that you want and I'll show you how to create the back piece. I'm now reaching the end of my last row. When we finish up our last row, we will then be starting on the border, the straps, and the back part of the top to close it all together. Now, whatever color you end with right here, this is what I use for making my border, my straps, and the little eyelets that are gonna be right here to close the top. If you end up ending on one of your other colors or the color that you don't wanna use for the main accent of it, just do two more rows so that you're ending right back on the other color. To sum it up, I did a chain of 60. I did a total of 18 rows and this will give me about a good size for a small or a medium. Every single square is made up of two rows of four half double crochets. So everything is within a multiple of four this way and within a multiple of two this way. Now we're going to start with doing our border. What I went ahead and did is I cut off the yarn that I will no longer be working with and I tied it into the most, into the nearest loop that I could find and I'm just going to work that into the project. I'm going to continue to work in the project going to the left and around. What I'm going to go ahead and do is chain one and I'm going to try my best to single crochet into the side of each half double crochet. So we're going to go ahead and single crochet around basically the whole project. I'm going to go ahead and mark that so that I know that's where my first single crochet was for that side.
I'm now getting to the end of the first side. I'm going to find where that last half double crochet row is and make a single crochet. And I'm going to mark it so that I know that that was my corner. And I'm not going to chain or anything. I'm just going to continue along the bottom and single crochet all the way back across. You'll run into this one, just tie it to the nearest loop and then work it into the project. I'm now at the last stitch on my bottom row. I'm gonna do that last single crochet I'm going to go ahead and turn my project so I'm on the short side again. I'm going to find that first half double crochet row and I'm going to work in a single crochet and I'm going to work in this extra piece of yarn too. Once I do that first single, I'm going to mark it because that's the first one from my side. And continue single crocheting down the short side. I just finished the last single crochet on my short side. We're going to go ahead and work on the last long side of our pattern. This is going to be the top of our top. I went ahead and marked with stitch markers where my straps will be. I marked the 15th stitch going inward. So from here the 15th and from here the 15th. This will fit for about a small or a medium or just hold it up to yourself or whoever you're making it for. And remember the project is going to stretch a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead, no chaining. We're gonna find that first stitch and we're gonna, we're gonna single crochet all the way over to that first stitch marker. Once we're at the stitch marker, we're going to stop, take our stitch marker out, single crochet into that same stitch, and I'm going to chain 200 and slip stitch back on that chain of 200. 200 would be good for about a small, medium, or large. It depends on how you also strap up the back of your top. But for a large to extra large, I would say go between a chain 300 to a chain 400. So now chain however long you need to fit you best. I've now finished my chain of 200, chain to whatever is most comfortable for you. I'm going to skip that last chain and we're going to go into the second one and I'm going to start slip stitching all the way back to create a solid strap. I'm now making my way back to the beginning of the strap chain. I've now slip stitched into the very first chain to make this strap. And that stitch that we single crocheted into to start the strap, we're going to single crochet into again to create the strap. We're going to continue single crocheting across till we meet the stitch marker for our other strap. We're going to repeat the same process. Single crochet into that stitch marker, chain however many you need to, slip stitch on the way back, 
single crochet back through that uh, where the beginning strap started and then I'll meet you right back at the end. I have now finished both of my straps on the top row and I've got into the end right here. We're going to keep our yarn attached and we're going to turn our project and we're going to start working into this short side. We're going to take the stitch marker that we use to mark the very first single crochet and we're going to slip it out. You're going to slip stitch right into that stitch right there chain one and single crochet back through that same stitch. I'm going to mark mine just so I don't lose it. We're now going to single crochet all the way across and we're going to single crochet in this last stitch marker. We're going to single crochet this row and then a second row. I have now reached the last stitch marker. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to single crochet right into that stitch. I'm going to chain one, flip the project, and single crochet all the way back for a second row. Now that we're back at that first single crochet, we're going to single crochet through there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain two, that's going to count as a double crochet, and I'm going to turn my project. Now we're going to be working our eyelet part. You can either do an eyelet, which is where I double crochet, chain three, skip three stitches, double crochet until you can do another chain three, double crochet and then chain three and double, or chain two and then slip into the very last. Or you can double crochet all the way across so that you can do a different lace pattern. But let me go to count and then I'll, I'll show you how I'm gonna do my back. So I've now counted, after I've done my chain two, that counts as a double crochet, I'm going to chain three. I'm going to skip the first three stitches and I'm going to double crochet four times into the next four stitches. So one, two, three, four. Chain three, one, two, three, skip three, one, two, three, double crochet right there, one, two, three, four, chain three, one, two, three. And then I chain two as my last double crochet. So one, two, find, skip three, one, two, three, find that last stitch and slip into there. Now we're gonna tie it off. I chain two. I then cut the yarn and pull it all the way through. Now let's do the other side. If you don't like doing it this way, as I said, you can just double crochet all the way across and then you can just slip your straps through the double crochets. I've now flipped my project over to the other side so that we can make the eyelet part to lace it up. Since the yarn isn't attached, I'm going to do a slip knot onto my hook. 
I'm gonna look for that first stitch marker and I'm actually gonna slip into the stitch oh wait not before it I'm going to slip into the stitch of the stitch marker I'm going to chain one and then double crochet back into that first stitch. I'm gonna mark it so that I don't lose my spot. And we're gonna do the same thing we did on the other side. Single crochet one, two rows, and then for the third, you can either make the eyelets with the chain three and the double crochets in between, or you can do double crochets all the way across. And I'll meet you to lace up your back. I've now finished my back eyelets and I'm gonna take the extra ends that I have and I'm gonna start weaving them in before we lace up our back. Now this, if yours looks diagonal, that is what I use for the inside. So this will be the inside of our top, and this will be the outside. So I'm gonna be looking at the inside, and I'm gonna take the eyelets and fold them in. Don't worry if it looks small, the top has a lot of stretch to it. I'm going to take my strap from the left side, and I like to cross mine in the back, so I'm going to first attach it to the right. Then I'm going to take the right one, put it through the left. I'm going to continue holding on to the right one, putting it back through the right. I like to come from underneath, then I'm going to pick up what was the left one that's coming out of the right up top, put it through the middle of the left and then back through the bottom of the right and then pick back up the one on the right and go right back through the bottom and that is how I lace up my top thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial